Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are answering an important question and that is how do our parrots breathe? I'm going to be talking about how the avian respiratory system works and then at the end of the video do stick around. I'm going to talk about some of the threats that you may not have considered to your parrot that wouldn't have any impact on us but could be majorly dangerous to them. So our parrots breathe in a slightly different way to us. They do have two lungs, just like us humans, but they also have a set of nine air sacs. And it's those air sacs that are pivotal for bringing the air in, moving it around and expelling it. They are the things that expand and contract because a parrot's lungs are actually rigid. They're rigid, they don't move. So it's the air sacs that moves everything through their system. Now you may think to yourself, that's a bit odd, you know, we have our lungs and that's where most of the oxygen absorption happens. Exactly the same for the birds really, although you do get a little bit from the SX too. But those rigid lungs come with two major benefits. One, it's a larger surface area for quick, quicker oxygenation and two, a thinner membrane, again, for more efficient oxygen transfer. And the reason you have these sacs as well is it's just more efficient as a system to push air through and out again and in combination with the thinner membranes and rigid lungs it means oxygenation happens a lot quicker and when you have a metabolism like these guys it's very very useful now as i mentioned this system is the way it is purely because it has to be it's millions of years of evolution you know this is an efficient system for an animal that flies you know you need to be lighter you need to be more efficient you need to be able to oxygenate quickly because they burn for a lot of energy they also have high metabolism so the system has to be efficient through necessity like with us you know we have our evolutionary adaptations to um i guess basically function in the way we do although i suppose some don't make sense to me i'm not a biologist though but with parrots, it's exactly the same. They have things to help them function in the best way possible, because that's basically how evolution works. Now, this system does have some drawbacks. You know, there's lots of positives where they can oxygenate quickly, you know, enables flight and all sorts of things. However, because the system is so hyper efficient, it makes them very sensitive to certain things most notably toxins in the atmosphere. You may not know this, although I hope you do from watching my channel, stuff like um, cat burning candles, scented candles, Teflon coated items, um, air fresheners, all those things can be massive threats to your parrot's health. You know, you may not think that because to us, you know, it makes no difference, you know, our bodies can cope with it much larger, for example, and our oxygenation works differently. But for a parrot, just cooking with a non-stick pan can be a major issue and there's lots of stories online you know you may think oh it may be okay but do be ultra cautious because that ultra efficient system is ultra efficient at picking up those toxins as well and you know and this is a threat in the, in the natural environment as well people may say oh you know you may have wildfires and the like and that never harms them well actually it does it's just you know it's not really something it's covered very much so do be ultra aware of that you know toxins in the atmosphere are very very harmful now the other major drawback to this system is they need to be able to sort of fully expand and contract their torso and their body. You know, could you imagine like with us, if some massive person bear hugs you, it constricts you, it's very difficult to breathe. Imagine that with a bird and grabbing for example, but it's much, much worse because we kind of have our rib cage to protect us a little bit so we'll be able to breathe in and out a little bit. If you grab your parrot tightly, which I'll talk about in a minute, they can't expand and contract their body, which means they cannot breathe. And it's a very easy mistake to make. And it's very important they can actually get that movement to help inflate and deflate those air sacs. So these two major drawbacks are why you have to be very cautious about what sort of products you use in your home, um, what sort of items you have. You know, for example, for me, I like uh, building models and the like, and I use glues and the like. So I have to be very cautious what I use around them. So I will take my model's outside or another room, shut the door, open the window, have the purifier on, etc., and not do it in the same room. It needs to be the same. You need to make adaptations for your parrots. Non-stick is probably the biggest threat, so please be ultra aware of that. And as you've seen on this channel before, again, do not grab your parrot tightly. This video is basically scientific evidence of why you should not grab your parrot. You know, you may be able to dismiss it in the past, but you shouldn't. You know, there are certain ways you can with their feet supported and very loose. But even then you need to be very cautious so please 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 do not grab your parrot tightly especially for any length of time because you will cause them harm and they will not be able to breathe so how can you help your parrot with these sort of issues um 
don't buy, don't grab them for a start. Don't buy non-stick cookware. Uh, this is a little plug for my Amazon store because a lot of these safe items are there. But you can get just stainless steel pans and air purifier is invaluable and very useful. Uh, we just find it useful for us as well because cockatiels are very dusty. So having that is helpful for us as well. Um, you can get a you can get a singing chip or singing fish. You can get humidifiers as well. So if your parrot does have breathing difficulties with slight blockage, you can get um, like a air diffuser or an air humidifier, which can help with them. If you want a free way of helping, you can take them into a steamy bathroom with no products and the like, and that's quite good for their breathing. It's just about using common sense and also doing your research on these little guys. You know, I've given you a lot of information about how they breathe now. You can kind of take that away and think about it and think what could be a problem for them. Another way you can support your parrot is also through good diet. You don't just have to go on Amazon store, you don't have to take them into a steamy bathroom. You can support them through a good diet, which can help an awful lot with any sort of issues they may have. And it's surprising how much diet comes into almost all factors such as behavior, health, even breathing and efficiency. So do keep that in mind that if you can cover all bases, you're gonna have a happier and healthier bird. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I tried to keep it brief and I didn't really go into too much detail about all the individual bits because I didn't think they were relevant. If you have any comments or suggestions, happy to hear from you down below. But in the meantime, from me, fish and chip, take care and see you later.